Okay. I'm going to... Whoa. How did that happen? I'm even not sure how that happened. Um, I was going to work on a couple problems here. Oh, I know what I did. That was the uh, last page, so let me go here. Work on a couple problems here. He just got a freebie for number five. Um, but looking at uh, number eight here. Uh, I want to work at number eight because it's an actually huge number, and we're going to see it right, happen right away here because thanks to this exponent of a three. So in here, standard order of operations, brackets first. Inside the brackets, I have another pair of brackets, so that's what I have to do first before I can get rid of them. I have to divide. 72 divided by 2 is 36. So it'll be 36 to the third power. So when I rewrite, I'm going to have 36 to the third power minus 7, and the bracket times 8 plus 8. So now I have to do 36 times 36 times 36. So 36 times 36, I get 36, 3, 18, 2, 1, 18, 1, 9 plus 1, 10, and it gives me 1296. But 1296 still has to be multiplied by 36. So 6 times 6 is 36, 3, 54, plus 3 is 57, 5. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17, 1, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7, 7, 6. Now i got to go through and do the 3. 3 times 8 is 18, 1, 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28, 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 7, 8, 3 times 1 is 3, add 6, 5, carry the 1, 15, 16, carry the 1, 15, 16, Carry the one, four. I get four, six, six, five, six. So over here, I get four, six, six, five, six minus seven times eight plus eight. So the next thing I have to do, still got to do the brackets. So I still have to do this. I'm going to do subtract. So I have four, six, six, five, six minus seven. Well, 56 minus seven is going to be 49. So this is going to be four, six, six, four, nine times eight plus eight. Now, I got multiplication and addition left. There was no parentheses up here for this, so the multiplication is going to go next. Give myself a little bit of space over here. Oopsies. There we go. So I have 4, 6, 6, 4, 9 times 8. 9 times 8, 72. Carry the 7. Oops, here's my 7 up there. Uh, 32 plus 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 7 is 39, 3. 48 plus 3 is 51, carry the 5. 48 plus 5 is uh, 53, carry the 5. 32 plus 5 is 37. So I got 373, 192. 373, 192 plus 8. So... 192 plus 8 is 200. So I'm going to end up with 373200. Okay? So let's take a look at uh, another one here. Let's take a look. This one's pretty messy here. So let's take a look at this. So I got parentheses, just holding a negative, just holding a negative, just holding a negative, just holding a negative, just holding a negative. But here, this big bracket's important. I have to do that. And this bracket's important because I have to do this first, and then it's going. there's an exponent here. It's going to be squared. So doing this part right here first. All right, so I'm going to rewrite. When I rewrite, I'm going to get rid of my parentheses. I just put my negative signs up high so I know that it's a negative number. Uh, if you like keeping them, that's fine. So I have negative 9 minus. Now I have negative 15 divided by negative 5. Negative 5 by negative. I'm going to positive answer. It's 3 and the 3 is squared. Now we talked about this is important. This is 3 squared. If I change to addition plus negative, it's still the 3 is just squared, and that's why. Because I could lose a negative if I'm multiplying when I, or I'm, if I make something addition and then I square it, which would change a negative to a positive. So you've got to be careful about that. So that's just going to be 3 squared, but I'm going to get to that in a second. So here we have times negative 11 plus negative 11. Okay, next step. I'm going to do, oh, and I wrote down a 3 again. Huh, right here it's a 5. Oops. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's a 3. That's a 3. I'm messing up here. 
Uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so I have negative uh, 9 minus 3 times 3 is 9. And the parentheses, times negative 11 plus negative 11. Uh, let's see if I got this straight. Negative 9 minus 9, because my brain is thinking 0, but I better make sure on this. But I still have to solve this first. So, I'm going to move this down a little bit here so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. All right, so here I'm going to add the opposite, and then it's like, oh, negative 9 plus negative 9. That's negative 18. So I have negative 18 times negative 11 plus negative 11. Okay, well, this is making sense. That's okay. So now I want to do the multiplication here first. Now I got a negative times negative, it's going to leave me a positive. So I just need to do 18 times 11. Well, that gives me 8, 1, 8, 1. And this is 8, 9, 1. So 198. So I have 198 positive plus negative 11. Okay? So now I'm going to add these two different signs. This is positive, this is negative, so it's really like subtraction. So I'm going to take my 198, my larger absolute value, take away the smaller absolute value, 7, 8, 1. I get 187, 187, and that's my final answer. So I have done uh, two problems on the video here, and I did three problems in class, uh, plus I shot through and there was a freebie for number five there. Uh, all right, so I've done uh, problem number three in class, uh, so there should be no problems there. And I also did problems one and two in class. So that's five problems done, and if you're quick and hit pause for number five, that's five problems done out of the 12. Um, so hopefully we're looking really good on Monday, uh, or I'm sorry, Tuesday. Good luck. We'll see you on Tuesday.